Let me find something. Too many of us are consumed by needless and endless worry. This drains us of our natural vitality and energy. Have you ever seen the inner tube of a bicycle tire? Worry causes your precious mental energy and potential to leak, just like the air leaking out of an inner tube. Soon you have no energy left. All of your creativity, optimism, and motivation has been drained, leaving you exhausted. Um, then another thing he talks about is writing down goals and just saying how a lot of people, you know, that you can't hit. He said, I think he said you can't hit a target you can't see. So I think, and this is something that I've done. I've, I'm writing down the goals that I want to achieve, and I visualize those those goals ultimately become a reality. So I think that's one thing a lot of people don't do. We we have our goals in our mind, but they're not written down. I think when it when it becomes written down, it becomes more of a journey. It becomes more of a react. Uh, uh, you become more centered. But yeah, I could go on and on about this book. There's not a. This, this is a great book. I I'm glad I. Uh, I'm in the middle of some journeys, and this book uh, is right on time for me. Um, the Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, the Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. Uh, I think it's compulsory reading. If you have a, a teenager, or even a, just a, a middle school, I'll say teenager, in high school, college, whatever, um, they should read it. Even if you're, you know, not young adults. <laughs> Even if you're not in college or whatever. But uh, again, The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari. Dope book. Great read. Uh, I, I think it can be uh, a tremendous help. Again, I think it's compulsory reading. Signing off from the Dogon. It's the homie Matt. Thumbs up. Give me the likes. I'm out.